Can you really get arrested for breaking the drone laws in Japan? Well, the answer is yes. I got four stories I'm going to go through. The first story is out of Nagasaki. A 64-year-old Nagasaki man got 18 months in prison and a 200,000 yen fine for flying over a festival. Now, what did this guy do wrong? Number one, he didn't have permission to fly above the festival. And number two, he gave the police a false permit, a forged permit. Now, this will give you some insight into the mindset of the Japanese people. The prosecutor said that flying above the festival was not only dangerous, but it was selfish. And also giving the police a forged permit was very selfish. Our next story is out of Sagamihara, where a man was arrested on suspicion of flying an unregistered drone. Now, he did have another drone that was registered, but he hadn't registered this drone. He crashed into a home that was 3.8 kilometers away. That tells me he was probably flying an FPV drone. Now, what did this guy do wrong? Number one, he had registered one drone, but he hadn't registered this specific drone. Remember, you have to register each drone. Number two, he flew out of his visual line of sight. Number three, he didn't report the accident to the Ministry of Land Information, Transport, and Tourism. Now, later, we're going to talk about how a company got busted for flying a drone above a freeway, even though they had previously been commissioned to film above a freeway. How does that happen? And how they got caught might surprise you, so stick around. But first, let's go to Ibaraki, where a 26-year-old man was busted for flying his drone above a fireworks festival. The city had put out flyers warning everybody that flying drones above the festival was not permitted. He ignored that and just flew his drone anyway. Now, what three things did he do wrong? Number one, he flew an unregistered drone. Remember that if a drone is over 100 grams, you must register it. His drone was 600 grams, way over the limit. And he flew above a gathering. Remember, you're not supposed to fly over places where people might gather. And he flew his drone at night. Remember, unless you have special permission, you're not allowed to fly a drone at night. Now let's go to Shikoku, where a company that had been commissioned by the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport, and Tourism to fly above a freeway, got busted for flying above a freeway. How does that happen? They were flying above Route 11 in Mitoyo City, Kagawa Prefecture. And I got this courtesy of Google Earth. They'd rented a parking lot to launch the drone, and that parking lot had utility poles along the side of it. They flew within 30 meters of those utility poles. Now, they had been commissioned to fly above the freeway previously, and the freeway had been expanded to four lanes and they decided to fly above the freeway. Think, probably thinking, we've already got permission, so that should carry over to this one, but it doesn't. Four things that went wrong here. Number one, they had permission for a previous flight, but they didn't get permission for this specific flight. Remember, you must get permission for each flight. Number two, they flew out of their visual line of sight. They flew 800 meters away. Now, the guideline is basically 300 meters. Now, that's not set in stone, but that's a good guideline to follow. 300 meters. They were way beyond that. Now, I have trouble seeing something 100 meters away, so 300 meters is pretty generous. Also, they flew too close to an object on the ground. They were less than 30 meters away from utility poles. But the craziest thing about this story is how they got busted. They posted the footage of their flight on X. Several people commented, hey, uh, isn't this an illegal flight? Now, they later deleted the post, but it was too late. Now, don't get discouraged. It is possible to fly a drone in Japan, have a lot of fun, get some amazing footage, and totally stay out of trouble, as long as you follow the rules. Now, if you came here for my video on registering flying a drone, I want to thank you for watching that. If you haven't seen that, it's right here. And I've also got step-by-step -step instructions on how to register your drone to fly in Japan. 